You you already know that Beyonce is gone. Yeah, I was about to you know, say that. The Jeez. reason why it's so important is this. Tomorrow is not promising to no right. one. Praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is a hey, good, good God. God. God is awesome God. Yes, he is. God is wonderful. He's faithful. He never fell. He never changed. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And this is Henry. I am Monique. And she's my wife That's here. That's my husband. And my wife had a dream that I want her to share. Hit it, baby. Yeah, so before I share the dream, uh, let's... Listen to the meaning. That's the most important part is the meaning because I'm trying to figure out what the meaning is. And the mm. Holy Spirit is going to definitely help my husband with mm. that. So I had a dream about Rosie O'Donnell and Beyonce. And I seen them both in the dream and they were up to something. You know, I, I couldn't really fill out what they were trying to do, but whatever it was, it wasn't good. And they were planning, and it seemed like it was some type of ritual that they were going to plan. I don't know for sure. It was just a dream where I couldn't get too much detail, right? And in the dream, I felt like they were going to become friends or that they were going to be in a relationship. And so that's how the dream ended. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And God is so loving and kind. But at the same time, if you are doing something that is against the will of God, God can also bring wrath upon anyone. You mm -hmm. know, so the best thing is to live a righteous life. Yeah. Live a life that is pleasing unto God. You know, it's not something to be like, okay, I'm trying my best. No. The Bible said, no unrighteousness. No sinner can see God. Amen. So what is this dream showing? There's something God is saying here. Number one, uh, they know each other very well. They know each other very well. And uh, what's the other name? Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. She, she, she have conscience. God says that she have conscience. You know, there's a lot of people in this uh, uh, Hollywood and all that, celebrities. Some of them have conscience. Some of them don't. You know, no, no matter what people, you know, like no matter what, they're still going to kill or do whatever that pleases them. They don't have the heart. But God was saying that she have conscience. Then there is a secret that something that she is going to confess. There's something is that she is going to confess. And uh, we hope that she come out and really speak out. But if not... God says that he's going to use someone to comfort and speak out. Wow. There's evil that has been done. And because she has a little conscience, she's worried about it. Wow. You know, she's deeply worried about it. But God wants her to come out and confess this because uh, Beyonce is involved and she is also involved. But if she will not come forth to speak out, God is going to strengthen someone in their midst to come forth and speak out. Because this was a tragedy that they uh, planted, says the Spirit of the Lord. Tragedy they planted, but God need this to be exposed and exposed quickly. And God says, I will have mercy only if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and seek his face. He will show mercy. That's the only time God can really listen to anyone. If we all come in repentance and seek God, he will definitely heal our land. So this is a great warning from God. And uh, there's something that is about to happen. That is not going to be good for, uh, what's the other name? Rosie O'Donnell. Very, very strong warning from God. Either you obey this or you face the consequences, the wrath of God. Hmm. 
You you already know that Beyonce is gone. Yeah, I was about to say that. She's forgot no conscience. To. Yeah, she's for... gone. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could tell by the prophecies that the Lord is giving you right now because uh, He's a calling on to a calling on Rosie O'Donnell to um, to go ahead and admit what's been going on in um, the secret places. But God see see hidden things, and yeah. and uh, it looked like He has definitely gave up on Beyonce because she has no conscience, and uh, that's sad. That is so sad, you know. Um, me and my father was on the phone. I, I hope, I pray that y'all will listen to what my dad preached on Wednesday night. Um, we left it in the community feed, and I'll also put it in the description box. But he preached a good message, and uh, he was reminding us that when we sin so much, that we can turn into an animal. Wow. And uh, when my dad was saying that, um, I was reminding my dad of, because we got on the phone and talked about it today, and he, I was reminding him of how my husband, he put on the titles, they are not human. Yeah. You know, because when your conscience, is go- your conscience is gone, you're evil. Um, it's like you're just no more human, because a real human has a heart, a good heart, and they care about people around them, yeah. you know, care about their neighbors. That's what the Bible says, love your yeah. neighbor as you love yourself. You know, and these people turn, they allow wickedness to come in and yeah. they turn into a whole demon. Yeah. And uh, I began to remind my father about King Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. God warned King Nebuchadnezzar. He um, he continued to run from uh, the, his calling. Um, and uh, what did he turn into? He turned into an animal. His yeah. sin was so great. But one thing yeah. I can say is that um, King Nebuchadnezzar later repented. And so it's not too late. If you have yeah. turned into an animal, if you have sinned the worst sin, God is still, if you're still living, God is still waiting for you to repent. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, it, it's so mm-hmm. important, you know, because the reason why it's so important is this. Tomorrow is not promising to no right. one. Right. And hell is real. Heaven is real. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you think or whatsoever science is telling you or people just uh, giving you their own opinion. I mean, anyone, everyone in this world can have opinion, mm-hmm. but the truth is truth. Mm-hmm. You know, the Bible says only the truth can set you free. So the truth of all this whole thing that, that we are on earth is this. After ever living, after everything that we're doing on here, only two places mm-hmm. that can justify it, mm-hmm. heaven or hellfire. Amen. Very important. Amen. 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 Listen, if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Monique, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make, make you a cool, a cool Christian. Christian. Because cool Christians, we, we hang, hang out, out over, over here. here. God bless you. Oh, we love you guys. Bye. Bye.